Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be going back into the Amazon Tool Deals and checking out some of the deals that I found for this week. So all of these items are going to be linked down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. They'll all have their own independent link and then I'll have two additional links down in the description that will be Tools and Tools Continued. Both of those links will take you to a long list of tools that I've went over in the past or other tools that I suggest. So that's all there for you guys. So first up we're looking at the Gear Wrench 28 piece six point combination wrench set this is going to be sae and metric part number 81923 so i would say roughly five six years ago i picked up the gear wrench i believe it is 22 piece set six millimeter through 32 millimeter uh just metric it is 12 point and i picked it up for something like 70 bucks fantastic deal now it sells a lot of times between 100 and 130 uh, i think 100, around 100 dollars is still a fantastic deal uh, but you will sometimes find it around the like $80 price range. So if you ever do see that 22 piece set for just a normal combination wrench set, actually they, they have a little bit of extra length to them. They're a little bit longer than your uh, standard combination length, but they're not quite like extra longs. Uh, so they have good length and for sub $100, the wrench set is very nice. Uh, especially a wide range so that is another great thing but this set is going to be metric and SAE the only con to this set for me you guys may like this I still wanted to mention it because it's a good price at $81 down from a list price of $191 which it would never sell at that um, I'm guessing this one may be around the 100 to $120 price range as well, just because it's six point. If it was 12 point, this size set would probably be around $150. But with it being six point, it's not going to be as commonly sought after. Now, I do like six point for one in sockets, but when it comes to wrenches, if I have six point, I want them to at least be ratcheting because while six point does give you good coverage and leverage on that bolt without having to worry about rounding it off nearly as much, I guess you would say. In tight situations, these wrenches are not going to be great. Not going to be great to try and get on a fastener in a tight situation when you can only have the wrench at so many different angles. It's really going to limit you. That's why I don't mind it on a ratcheting wrench because I can simply just rotate the mechanism a couple of clicks, usually get on it, and get to work. With a normal non-ratcheting design, you don't have that luxury, and then you can find yourself kind of irritated in those situations. But I still think for under $82, this is a fantastic deal. I mean, you get good coverage. That is a very poor quality picture. For the SAE, it goes up to one inch. I'm guessing that the metric is going to go up to 19 millimeter. We'll actually check the sizes here in a minute as long as they provide us that information. I'm not going to lie, I think this is a no-skip set, which is a, a plus as well. So here we go, 6mm through 19mm without skipping a size and good coverage on that SAE as well. SAE isn't nearly as common for me as you know I'm sure it is for a lot of other people who don't use SAE nearly as much anymore. It is still out there, definitely, uh, but not nearly as common as metric just getting into automotive not necessarily the profession but maybe just starting to kind of tinker yourself and learn with vehicles this could be a good set for you um the only thing holding this set back is it being six point while i do like six point not the greatest for some situations here you can see the 12 point 18 piece so a little bit smaller set here this is just going to be the metric set at 101 dollars because it's 12 point it's going to cost a little bit more so there you can kind of see that here's a 24 piece set 12 point and this one's at 138 dollars but uh i believe there are skips in this set so this is just one that i thought was a pretty good deal even though it is six point there are i know plenty of people out there searching for six points probably looking for six point ratchetings but i figure this is still a good deal Next up, we have the DeWalt T-Stack Tool Bag. This is a 16-inch durable tote with tool organization and hard bottom. So I didn't even know this was a T-Stack variant. I just thought it was a tool bag when I added it. It's $42, so the pricing for it seems pretty nice. The bag itself seems really nice. 
in the past, I have done a lot of mechanical work out of a simple tool bag and a lot of electrical wiring and uh, stereo installs out of tool bags. And I've always had the ones that were either just open top or the ones with the compressed zipper where you kind of sandwich it together and then zipper it across. And uh, while it always starts out okay, over time, we obviously like to fit more and more stuff into those bags as we have them. And eventually, shutting that thing is just a joke. Um, so I've kind of gotten away from those, especially now that I have some veto bags. But this DeWalt bag for $42 seems like a good size. I like the hard bottom. I like the semi-rigid shell to it. Uh, it's got a couple clamps there. Uh, I feel like this would have done me a lot better in the past. Now, granted, I don't need a bag, but if I were still looking for one and doing that same type of work right now, this is definitely one that I would consider. It seems to be really nicely kind of thought out and designed. It has 4.7 stars at 195 ratings. I forgot to state this set that we went over first has 4.7 stars at 893 ratings. But back to the tool bag. It looks like a durable, pretty decent quality material. The, the outer shell of the actual bag seems to be pretty durable from the looks of it. Uh, it looks like you kind of have some um, water resistant pouches up here in the top. A couple side pouches over here sewn in, a divider, and like I said, that semi rigid design. I'm sure that middle section can be removed. Yeah, there you can see put uh sensitive stuff up there in the top schematics whatnot and yeah you have some velcro strips here so you can move that divider around or you can remove it all together overall about 18 inches long 10 inches from front to back and almost or you know nine and three quarters inches tall and then you got a carrying handle i thought it was a pretty nice bag for 42 dollars. it says its typical price is 49 dollars, so not a huge savings but a decent amount of savings and it is that t-stack bag as well you can kind of see here how it's got those locations on the bottom that would lock it in just something to keep in mind if you run the versus stack or the t-stack that is a nice addition but even without running those um i still think this is a pretty nice tool bag especially for $42 so let me know your guys thoughts down below obviously if you can find one similar to it without the t-stack integrated into it it's probably going to be a little bit cheaper so also think about that uh, it's just finding one if you like this design finding one similar to it but I like that it's not a zipper top I like that I don't have to compress it it seems uh pretty well thought out here we are looking at the Milwaukee 3404-20 and this the M12 half inch hammer drill driver this is the bear tool from milwaukee the m12 lineup and i've been running the milwaukee m12 lineup for i don't know six years maybe and it's been fantastic i run the dewalt 20 volt lineup and the milwaukee 12 volt lineup and i love both of them and milwaukee has been really good to me especially the m12 line i know there's a lot of people out there that like it and a lot of people are either all dewalt or all milwaukee Really, to me, it doesn't matter as long as the tool performs. And uh, those are the only two brands or lines that I stick with. So I'm not running multiple different chargers and multiple different types of batteries. But this drill has performed very well. It is at $68, basically $69, down from a list price of $112, roughly. Uh, normally, you'll see this around the $80 price range, I believe, uh, usually $100 with a or 120 with a battery included with it just depending on the size battery that's included uh, I think $69 for this is a fantastic price here's some of the information on it the size 1500 rpm 2.2 pounds 800 watts 2.2 pounds up here and 2.18 pounds is that after packaging <laughs> and then up here you got 2.6 pounds is this just different batteries that are installing away in this thing I'm just guessing normally I'm not one that goes over a lot of power tools sold on Amazon just because a lot of times you can find better deals at like Home Depot and Lowe's and things like that when it comes to name brand power tools. But every once in a while, I'll catch a good deal. And I think this is one of them with 4.7 stars at 318 ratings. And then last up for today is going to be a Mega Pro item. This is actually one that I recently 
maybe a month or so ago went over for the first time i had never even heard of this brand uh, and they had a lot of sales going on on these and i think if you're looking for a good multi-bit screwdriver a lot of people have said a lot of good things about it after i hadn't heard of them or seen these before maybe i just skipped over them for years <laughs> i don't know but they're made in the usa they have multiple different bit layouts like this one's the original so it's going to come with your standard bits you know a lot of phillips um t15 t20 t25 a couple slotted a couple square i believe actually i'll just show you specifically what's in this and it's all got that retractable cartridge in the back from all of the reviews that i've read and the feedback that I got from you guys in the previous video, a lot of people really enjoy this multi-bit screwdriver. The only thing that I have heard is from people that they wish could be improved is the fact that these still use the ball detent in the bits and shaft instead of using a magnet. Uh, a lot of people would definitely prefer the magnet, just a little bit stronger and uh, just a preferred method. Plus then you can just, you know, use basically any bits that you want. Overall, I still think it's a fantastic little driver, especially for the price, especially when you can catch them on sale. There you can see made in the USA. And then this is blue and yellow. Their other drivers are kind of color coded. You know, they'll have a red and black that are going to contain a certain style of bits for a specific occupation and then they're going to have different colors for different things so actually here you can see the red and black one it's going to contain you know specific bits the the yellow and green same thing different bits are going to be included here's a precision one so as you can see they have multiple different designs and layouts for these drivers right now this one is at 27 dollars and i want to say on sale you'll see it around 24 so not a not a huge savings, but for a 15 in one multi-bit screwdriver, I think it's fantastic, especially for, especially for being made in the USA. And uh, it has 4.8 stars at 1,018 ratings. So rated very highly and rated a lot. So that's it as far as this week's Amazon tool deals. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below your guys' thoughts on these items for this week. Keep in mind, all of these items are linked down in the description for you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.